What's up, everybody? And welcome to The Scoop with Coop. I'm Coop. How y'all doing out there? Well, finally, I'm doing my BET Awards review. And 7.7 million people watched the awards on Sunday. Now, this is the second highest ratings of the BET Awards. The first high, highest ratings was after the death of Michael Jackson. So, of course, everybody's going to watch that. So, um, it started off with the pre-show. The pre-show, it was okay. It was all right. My only thing about the pre-show is, why is Lloyd still performing on the pre-show? I think he deserved to be on the main stage. Hey, he did a, a um, collaboration with Patti LaBelle. His songs that he's come out with, they're, they're good. And the boy can sing for real. It's just not the, uh, the studio voice. He can really sing. Because when he had that song, Lay Your Head on My Pillow, <clears throat> I didn't know if he could really hit those notes until I heard him sing live. So, yeah, the boy can really sing. So, they need to let the boy sing on the main stage. And he wasn't nominated. Why? He had a CD out. So, I don't know why he wasn't nominated. But anyway, um, like I said, the pre-show, it was okay. It was all right. You know, they had YC... Diggy. Now, some people would like, I didn't like Diggy performance. He was dancing and all. He's young. Of course, he's going to do the dancing and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, so the show comes on. And the show starts off, Mary J. Blige opened the show. And she took us back to what's the 411 Mary J. And Mary J. had an attitude. And nobody didn't really want to work with her. So she came out doing real love and all that she had the back in the day uh, her hairstyle with the ponytail and the bang and now her shoes I don't know about them shoes she had on but you know she was trying to do her dance and everything like real love real love anyway but she opened the show she was okay and then my boy Kevin Hart came out I love me some Kevin Hart I can't get enough of his, of his Seriously funny video, that DVD. Every time I watch it, it's like, I crack up. Like, this is it's my first time watching it. But anyway, he came out trying to step. Like, <laughs> really, you step in Kevin Hart. Me, by me. Or Kev, by Kev. Whatever he said, his little fraternity. So far that was. But um, he did a great job. The real house husband of Hollywood was hilarious. They need to come, they need to do that as a series for real. I would watch it. But he, it was him, J.D., Net, well, y'all saw it. But him, J.D., Nelly, all them people. It was funny. And I didn't know Nick Cannon was that kind of sexy. He took that shirt off when him and Kevin was talking about Mariah. And his arms was all bummed. I was like, wait a minute, Nick. Wait a minute. <laughs> But, yeah, he was, mm -hmm. all right, Mariah, you got to a little book. And everybody be hating on Nick, like, Nick, he just bit with Mariah for her money. Little do they know, that boy got money. He got plenty of it. But anyway, Kevin Hart did an awesome job. Even though he wasn't hosting that much, it went on for about 30 minutes before he even came back on the stage. I guess because he had the real house husband. They, that took the place. But, yeah, but he did a wonderful job. He was really funny. He called people out that needed to be called out. Fabulous, take off them shades. Neo, take your hat off. No, I take that back. Keep your hat on, you like an alien. Dude said, uh, what, Rick Ross <laughs> need a um, sports bra if he's going to wear, wear no shirt. Why? Why Rick Ross? I thought... Rick Ross' first performance, I was like, Lord, Rick Ross about to come up. Please, please have your shirt on. Then he came, and he had his shirt on. I was like, yes. Woo, he got his shirt on. Then somebody else came on, and he came back out. The shirt was open. Jesus! All the man boobs and stomach. Really. And at first, it looked like Rick Ross lost a little weight. But I take that back. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But I give it to him. He got confidence. He said, 
man boob and stomach and all. I'm showing it. So he's like, Trey Song, the Lil Wayne, all them can show their chest. Hmm, I'm going to show my chest too. But, oh, please spare us. Please spare us. Anyway, Kevin also um <laughs> called out Diddy. And I don't think Diddy was too happy about that. When he told him he too grown had all these nicknames, which is correct. Just go by Sean. Okay, Diddy. Whatever. But I don't think he was happy about that. Anyway, um, oh yeah, the, what was it, the Young Award. When I saw it was what, Jaden, Diggy, Willow, Kiki Palmer, and another girl, I don't know where she's from. When I saw Willow and Jaden in the category, I already knew they was going to uh, give it, make it a tie between them two. I mean... Jaden, he's a he did very good in Karate Kid, and Willow, she was whipping her hair. I mean, they were good, they were good, but a tie. But hey, it was a young award. It, I mean, yeah, it was, it was it was all right. Anyway, um, what else happened? Oh, Marsha Ambrosius won the Centric Award. Actually, it was the first award of the night because she won it on the pre-show, but um. That was she. I think she deserved that award because Marsha, when she came out solo, she came out hard. Because I can't get enough of late nights and early morning CDs. That's a good CD, and I'm happy for her. Thumbs up, Marsha. Um. Uh. What else happened? Um. Oh. The next day, at Monday, when the show went up, all the radio stations was talking about. Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle. When they first came out, I was like, okay, Sherelle, she look good. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Alexander O'Neill came out and he was all like, well, I am Oh, no, what's wrong with him? I was like, is he drunk? Oh, my God. And one of my friends, when we was watching it, and, you know, he wasn't pronouncing the words all the way. She was like, no, something is really wrong with him. I was like, no, it's not that man drunk. <laughs> he was, when I didn't value my man and I, I was like, oh, my God. And then at the end, he smiled. Oh, everybody in the room that was watching the BT Awards with me, everybody was like, Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Where is it? Okay, moving on. Woo! Don't smile, that looks at the dumb smile. Okay, moving on. So, <laughs> Chris Brown performed. His performance was okay. The outfit he had on in the beginning with no sleeves and a jacket and those big. Puffy knees? Oh, I guess he wanted to do something like far out there since this was his um, actual performance doing his own songs coming back. So he he oh he went all out with that outfit. But then he came and did look at me. Now Buster came out, did his thing. Go Buster, Buster get a little chunky. But <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Chris Brown did good. Um, what else? What else? Oh, the the tribute to Patti LaBelle. CeeLo Green. CeeLo came out. At first, I didn't know who it was until they did a close-up. CeeLo had on that wig like Patti used to wear her hair with them fans on it. I almost died laughing. <laughs> and then he got too much into the performance. And started cursing. I was like, uh, this is for Patty the Bell. Patty the Bell don't curse. <laughs> but then when she we she and Marsha Ambrosius, she did very good. I'm proud of her. Uh Lettucey. I love me some Lettucey. Well, I don't have a C. But I like Lettucey. Lettucey. I like now I like me on soul. So I like Lettucey, Marsha Ambrosius. But they did good. Um for Patty. Except her um, award, she was like, CeeLo, uh, you kind of scared me there for a minute. 
I think he scared everybody, Patty. He scared everybody. So that was good. And Patty, I was about to say, Patty, you better sing. You better not just come up here and get this award and go sit down. And she did. Woo! She, she came and sung. She showed off them legs and them Louboutins. She didn't kick them off. She kept them on her feet. And she sat down. She showed her legs off. Like, look at these legs. But anyway, I'm glad she sung. Um, what else? Oh, then Trey Songz came out and did uh, Making Love Faces. Then he did Unusual. Then he bought out what with who everybody was waiting on the whole night. Kelly Rowland. And when I say Kelly Rowland came out, she came out. She gave me a kind of, her outfit was kind of Janet Jackson-ish, Mary J. Blige just with the hat. But the girl did the doggone thing. You better do it, Kelly. And when the commercial went on, when the commercial came on, I rewinded it, digital cable. I rewinded it and watched it again. Kelly, she rocked it. And she won the uh, OMG award, award of the night because it was between Kevin Hart her and Beyonce. And it was Beyonce got the lowest vote, surprisingly. Kevin Hart, he got the second highest vote. And then Kelly. Kelly won it. Which she deserved it. I think Kelly deserved that. Now, okay. Whoever was doing the editing for the award show, what were you doing? Because when Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, all of them came out, you heard every curse word. The bleeps was after the curse word. I was like, oh my gosh, you can hear the words. They say an F. Uh, you can hear the words. I was like, oh, they're going to get fired. BT, I, I posted it on Twitter. BT better get ready for some fines because we hearing all these curse words. And then, um, uh, Steve Harvey got the Humanitarian Award, and, you know, he does his mentoring thing, you know, kudos for Steve Harvey, um, and Jill Scott, Jill Scott, she came out, ooh, Idris Elba, with Idris Elba, um, they did a little, you know, nightclub scene, and she came and sung, I forgot what she was singing, but she looked good in her red, but, <laughs> Jill Scott got some Tigo Bennett. <laughs> the thing was protruding. I was like, whoa, Jill. <laughs> but anyway, she did really good. Um, you know, she came back. Lighting of the Sun, I think that's the name. I did a video uh, review. Oh, well, said, go get it. I ain't got mine yet. But anyway, um, she did good. Uh, what else? Oh, the... um. What was it? The fan award? The fandemonium? Well, whatever the award was where the fan comes out and announced the award. So, they didn't do the nominee. Uh, um, but when she announced it, she was like, Chris Brown, look at me now. It's the winner. Nope, Brianna. Nope, Drake. What? Everybody was like, oh, uh, what is going on? So, uh, at the end of the night, Kevin Hart was like, we're sorry for the mix-up, but Chris Brown did win. Now, Sister, did, uh, she did, I don't know if she did an interview, yeah, she did an interview with Sister to Sister. And she said, you know, they was using the tablet the whole night. So she said, um, first they told her to use the tablet. Then they said, no, look at the prompter. So they confused the poor child, because she said in the rehearsal, they used the tablet. But then when, right before they were going out, they said, read the prompter. So, the poor child was confused. So, she was like, Chris Brown, no, Rihanna, oh my gosh. They told me to do this. But, uh, who was who, who was the man of BT? He went to the, his Twitter. He said, the, the award, announcing that award wrong was human error. It was my error. So, he took the blame for it. And if I was that girl, I would have been mad. Because you in front of... Millions of people, you don't do this all the time. This is your one and only chance, probably your one chance of a lifetime, and you mess up. 
And that's what she said in the article. She's like, I'm not a celebrity. I don't get to come back and redeem myself on another award. This was my one and only chance. So, but she said, it's all good. But after that, she got like a million followers after that. But, hey. But anyway, um, what was the Beyonce closed the show. She was in Gaston Mary Inman. Now, people was kind of upset on Twitter. They was like, I watched this whole show for Beyonce and she ain't even there. I mean, I, I thought they, well, they did say performing on stage Beyonce. But I saw somewhere where, oh, I knew it was from the Scorpion show here on YouTube. They were saying that she's going to be in Gastonbury. Because Beyonce had to weigh her options. Go to the BET Awards, which she's been to plenty of times, which she's performed on, on plenty of times, or be the first female to perform in Gastonbury, England. Uh, I would have went to England, too. So, yeah. Satellite, I performed via satellite. But some people like, oh, I didn't like her performing. She wasn't even there. But I like the song she did. I mean, you know Beyonce going to shake. She's a shake queen. So, because she's doing something more mellow, even though the second song she did, she was shaking. I mean, hey, hey, it is what it is. I like the performance. Do you doggone thing, Beyonce? And I still got to get my force to you. But, um, all in all, oh, wait, before I, the shocker for me was Alicia Keys' hair. Why did her stylist? Let her go on stage with that frizzy mess. That junk was frizzed up. When the lights on the hall, I'm like, oh, Alicia, what is going on? Did you just wake up? I'm like, for real. Because uh, the style, you know, she had a ponytail and the bang. But it was just like she just was in a hurry or I don't know what went on with that. But, yeah, Alicia. <laughs> that hair was a mess. But um, what else? Did I say everything? Um, who else performed? I think that's it. But anyway, um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, th follow you. Follow me on Twitter at School with Coop. Please comment. Please rate. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe. Um, and thank you for tuning in again. God bless. Bye-bye.